Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Virgo. This is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Um, yeah, so it's Virgo. This, this is a reading for Virgo for uh, the month of March. I don't know what's on the bottom. I didn't look. Um... Anyhow, this is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of March. Um, keep in mind that the timing is fluid. This could be April, whatever. This is just an update. I've already done one March reading for April. I'm gonna, I mean, for March. <laughs> I've already done a reading for Virgo for the month of March. This is my, just an update, okay? We're just going to see what comes up. We're going to take this one because it didn't come up for a reason. Everything happens for a reason. It didn't come up for a reason. So it didn't, you know, it wanted to be seen. Something wants to be seen. So we're just, we're going to go with that. Um, there's no such thing as coincidence. Everything happens for a reason. So every word that comes out of my mouth is part of the, 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 the reading. So keep that in mind. So let's just see what we got here. Ace of Wands. Ace of Wands. So the Ace of Wands, look at that. We got a blank page here. We, we got a blank, blank canvas. You are creating a new story, right? You're, you, we talked about this the other day. It was a different card, though. Ace of Wands is uh, a new vision. It looks like you you are starting with a clean slate, right? Uh, painting a new picture. This is exciting. You can you can uh, draw up whatever you want to draw up, right? Look at how bright that sun is. It's very it's a very bright. You got a bright opportunity here to start fresh, to start from scratch, to uh, create a new life. Okay, it's very 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 bright. Look at it. It's bright. It's like the sun is sun is shining. It's it's warm. It's a it's a good time. It's a good time to. Uh, paint okay to to paint a picture of what you want your life to be what you want your life to look like it's time to focus on the future this is an exciting time because you have a new opportunity here you do you have a new opportunity you can do whatever you want what do you see what do you see what what vision what vision do you have write it down write it down paint that picture seriously Get out, get out a piece of paper and paint yourself a picture. I don't think I've ever said that before, but it feels like that's what you're being called to do. You have this clean slate right in front of you, okay? Um, what do you see? What do you want? Where are you going? You're going somewhere. This is an exciting opportunity. This is a new vision, a new desire, a new spark. So this is beautiful. It is absolutely beautiful. It looks like it's hot, too. It's a very fertile time. It's like something is going to grow. It's like something is going to happen. It's like you're manifesting, too. You know? It's just, I mean, it looks so beautiful. It really does. There's a lot of wisdom in this card as well. You notice, uh, I think that is, I think it's an owl. It might be a hawk. Anyway, and we have an older woman here, so there's a lot of wisdom here. Hmm. Nine of Swords reversed. Ten of Swords reversed. You've been through a painful situation, something that was really stressful, something was holding you down. I think you've been... You've been uh, suffering big time. You've been having a hard time. There's been a lack of any energy here. Okay, there's been a lack of desire to do anything. This is like a depression, but this is this is a new day. Okay, this is the, like a song tomorrow on Annie. You know, this is a new day. The sun will come out tomorrow. Well, it's tomorrow. Okay, this is the sun coming out and things looking up and things getting better really, 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 really fast after being in a situation where, you know, maybe you had to give deep thought to a relationship. Maybe you've been giving deep thought to a relationship and your, and your gut told you that this was unhealthy and it was weighing you down. You were definitely being weighed down by something that was uh, 
causing you to have a hard time sleeping at night. You were thinking about it a lot. It was really, really poking you. You were feeling super stressed about it. Uh, very, it was a very unhealthy situation. I feel like um, maybe you've had some health problems. Maybe you've been, and maybe it's back problems, I'm not sure, or stress or headaches or something like that. You've been migraines even. It feels like you've been experiencing some health issues because of some sort of situation that it's kind of like the plague, right? Um, extremely worried, ex you know, that you, you, you've been plagued by some thoughts that were eating you alive, put it that way. But I feel like, uh, I honestly feel like the worst is over because of this card right here. I feel like the worst is over. Um, I feel like you're you're starting to, to come out of it. You're starting to come out of this depression or this stressful period that you have been in. Okay? Um, I feel like things are going to get better. I think it's over. I think the worst is over. You may have hit a period of being on the bottom or feeling like you were on the bottom or feeling really down like you just didn't want to get out of bed or it was hard to get out of bed or it was hard to get anything done at all because you were consumed by your thoughts of, you know, I think it's a lot for a lot of you, you may have been holding on to a situation where it was negative for some reason and you were so ready. This is passion. You got a lot of passion here, right? So I think that you've been in a less than passionate situation and now you've got this newfound desire to live, to live again. The world, wow, wow. This is a major new beginning. That cycle is over. That cycle of depression and anxiety and um, being down and um, anxious and maybe even feeling guilty or whatever it is that you've been doing because you may have been feeling guilty as somebody it looks like somebody has been feeling guilty it's definitely over with the world card okay this is leaving the past behind you're ready to leave the past behind you know a long-term project or phase or uh, maybe it's a commitment or a marriage or schooling or something that was very prominent in your life is, is coming to an end. Okay, it's done. It's over. You learned a lesson from it. You got all you can get out of it. And it's time to start in a new chapter, a new journey. Some of you are traveling. Seriously, I think you're traveling, um, you know, writing a new script, painting a new picture. This is definitely a very big new beginning. This is a whole new you. When you get the world card, this is a whole new you. Some sort of lesson that you have learned or phase or project that you were doing has caused your evolution. You know, you're not the same person that you used to be. You learned from that. You learned the hard way, though, because of these two cards. You learned, you learned a hard lesson. You, you, somebody learned a hard lesson here. There's been some sort of betrayal. That somebody has been betrayed, whether you've done the betraying or they did the betraying. There's been a betrayal here where somebody was really, really hurt very, 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 very badly. Okay? With the Nine of Swords and the Ten of Swords, this is, this is, uh, it's painful. It is painful. Um, but this is the end. It's the end. And I knew it was. It's the end of this, uh, period that you have been in things are about to look up and it's gonna it is things are about to get way 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 better for you um this is also being recognized this is victory um finding balance finding um not finding it's finding balance being in the flow You're starting a new chapter, okay? That last chapter of your life is over. It's done. That painful situation that you were, I think you were holding on to it or something, it's over. It's done. Welcome to your new life. No kidding. Ooh, the star reverse. Now this is, that's depression. Lack of hope. Why? Why? That's your why. Why is this happening? Why is this happening? Somebody is, is, is feeling guilty for sure. They're feeling guilty for wanting a new life. There's nothing to feel guilty about. It's about, it's about what you feel passionate about. It's about your passions. 
You should not be feeling guilty for wanting a new life. You are the illustrator of your own life. Six of Pentacles reversed. The Hierophant. There's a higher power involved here. Now, I feel as though there's a rejection. Somebody's been rejected. You may feel guilty for rejecting somebody, right? Is that what this is? You feel guilty for rejecting somebody, right? But there's a higher power involved. This may have something to do with a marriage or a commitment. This is a higher power. This is about believing yourself, believing in yourself and following your own path. Trusting your gut and listening to your intuition. This is your higher power or your gut telling you that you you're betraying yourself. You need to you need to stand up for yourself. You need to stop laying down. You need to you need to end this cycle. If you need to let somebody go and reject them, then that's what you need to do. This is your higher power. Okay, this is a teacher or a mentor, a mentor or a counselor or somebody that you look up to that is, is spiritual. This is a spiritual individual, could be God, could be a higher power that is guiding somebody to stop giving their energy and stop giving to a situation that is hopeless. Stop giving to a situation that doesn't make you happy. There's a whole new world. There's a whole new life. So I feel like this month, this is becoming enlightened for sure. This is like a higher power that is, is giving you the message. Okay, this is giving you the message. It's almost, what I want to say is divine intervention. The emperor... The Emperor. So we have the Emperor here. This is this is a masculine. The Emperor is a masculine energy who knows what he wants. This guy is very protective. Very dominant. But this is a lack of reciprocation. This is abuse of power. The Six of Pentacles reversed is meanness. It's a fraud. It's it's uh an abuse of power and it's a domination here and domination. We have somebody here that is very dominant. This person may be saying, why, 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 why are you doing this? Could be a husband or a father. Why are you doing this to me? They may try to make you feel guilty. Somebody may try to use the guilt trip on you for, for following your passion, for you wanting to explore, for you wanting to write a new story, for you wanting to go your own path. But there is some sort of divine guidance here that is saying that you have to take care of you. This is your story. Your story. So we do have an emperor here. The emperor is a masculine that tends to use their head, not their heart. This person can be rigid. Um... Now, this guy seems to uh, know what he wants. He definitely knows what he wants. There's been a lack of reciprocation here, there, or there's been an abuse of power. <clears throat> Eight of Cups. They, somebody doesn't want you to walk away. They don't want you to go. And perhaps somebody has been pretending to be happy with the Eight of Cups reversed. This is somebody that is superficial and shallow. Staying put. Refusing to move on. Avoiding. Avoiding the uh, confrontation. But not. This is not the dream. Okay. It's not the dream. It's not what the wish fulfillment. It feels like somebody's trying to make you feel guilty. Or you're feeling guilty. 
this is superficial. This is this is uh, pretending to be happy. We have somebody here that is pretending to be happy. It's like they want to let go. They have dreams of a better future. But maybe they're married or they're, they're in a commitment and they're holding on. Something about a father as well. Because this could be the father of the children. It's a father and this is a father. So we have a father here. Something to do with a father. There's a father. Somebody is, is pretending to be happy. But this guy... Let's, let's clarify this emperor. What is this emperor doing here? He's a provider. He is a provider. Three of Pentacles. He... Three of Pentacles wants to work together. He wants to work together. He 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 want he'll make he'll do anything, anything to prove himself. We have this guy that that will do anything to prove himself. He's a very hard worker. We have a hard worker here. This this guy wants to be in a commitment. He wants to be in a commitment, so I'm not sure what this is. There's a there's a masculine here that really wants to be in a commitment. He wants to be in this marriage or something like that, or he wants to get married. This could even be a ring. So somebody could be getting a ring. Just saying. Ace of Wands reversed. Whew. Yikes. So, Ace of Wands, if this is going downhill, something is going downhill. But not right here. We have something, passion, you know, the desire, the attraction, or some, it's going downhill. Okay? Somebody is, is losing the attraction, or they're losing the desire, and they're wanting something more. They're wanting a new story. So, it feels like, this is like, uh... This is like putting it out. The Ace of Wands reversed. It is putting it out. Something is not, they're not, they're being weighed down. Somebody is being weighed down by a situation that isn't what they asked for. It's like, this isn't what I was hoping for. This isn't what I asked for. This isn't the, the, the dream that I was hoping for. This dream that you were not hoping for is coming to an end with that world card. It is coming to an end. Somebody's about to get rejected. Somebody's about to get rejected because their divine connection, their divine power, God, their higher power, their God, or whatever, is saying, you know, they're saying that you have to take ownership. You have to take care of you. You have to be the boss. So, um, I think there's going to be an ending here. Yeah. The Fool reversed. I think somebody is also going to be upset. I think we have somebody here that is going to get very, very upset. I do feel like they're going to get upset because, um, you know, they get rejected. I think there's going to be a rejection here. Um, somebody has acted foolishly. They have acted, they may have tried to make some, another person feel guilty and that was a foolish thing to do. Uh, somebody is missing an opportunity with the fool reversed or they missed an opportunity to make something successful. And maybe they tried to use a guilt trip or something. Uh, the Nine of Swords reverse is a guilt trip. The Star reverse is, is guilt. Trying to make somebody feel ashamed. And this is this is abuse of power. So somebody may have tried to control with uh, word, you know, guilt trip. That kind of thing. Try to make somebody feel guilty and ashamed of, of their ways, you know, for wanting something more or, or something like that. Anyhow, I feel like this month... Um, We have somebody here that has made a poor judgment call with the fool reversed. They have made a poor judgment call and they may have some sort of regrets. They have some sort of regrets and they may be, it almost feels like they are willing to do whatever it takes to make it right, but it feels like it's too late. You know, that kind of thing. It's like the desire is gone. The spark is gone. There's no attraction or something like that. Maybe there's a new partner, okay? Because the Ace of Wands typically uh, suggests a new partner, okay? So somebody may have a new exciting opportunity to go down a new path, to write a new story with somebody new. 
And I, and I say that now, I see the two of pentacles on the bottom, that is a choice between two. This is, this is the earthly powers larger than yourself that are bringing about a realignment. Okay. So I feel as though this month there is going to be a rejection. Somebody is going to get rejected. They've been pretending. They have been. They've been pretending to be happy. Um, and they're looking for, for something more. They're looking for wish fulfillment. So now you think about this, this reminds me of the Empress. It does. It's the Nine of Cups. When I see a pregnant woman on a card, I think of the Empress. So this is the birth of a new life. And I would say this one is too. So I think there is a major completion in your life of a cycle. I think that you are going to have somebody that fights it. They're going to fight your, your, uh, or they are fighting your decision with the two of pentacles, your decision to, uh, walk away or to not give to them. I think it's not going to be easy. I feel like, um, you have somebody new. Okay. I think we have somebody, this is a new, exciting opportunity. If it's not a person, it's a new endeavor. Okay. It's a new vision. It's a new drive. It's a new desire. It's, it, it's a desire to do something else that you have never done before. And I feel like this new desire does not include, um, Whatever it is that you have been superficially holding on to, it's giving that up. You're going to have to give something up that you no longer have any passion for, okay? You don't have any passion for it anymore. So I do see that. I see you uh, putting out the fire, uh, you know, saying no. I'm going someplace else. You're beginning a new cycle. I also feel as though uh, you have somebody here that is very strong and capable. These are both strong and capable. That is going to be making some sort of offer to you. And this offer may be to work with them on a spiritual level. Maybe it's a spiritual retreat or somebody may even be getting proposed to. Somebody could be meeting somebody new spontaneously. Okay. Something could happen suddenly. Okay. There could be a spontaneous situation that develops. If you have been in a trying time, I think that trying time is over. I do. I do. With that world card right there, it's over. It's like I, I see somebody moving toward the future and letting go of something that doesn't make them happy anymore. So, Virgo, um, I also feel like... Uh, you have a very dominant masculine here who is very capable of providing some sort of long-term commitment to you. However that resonates with you. But there's been some foolish behavior. This is foolish behavior. Somebody has acted foolishly. Maybe they regret it. So somebody may be uh, expressing their regrets, put it that way. Um, and they don't want you to go. But I see a new opportunity here where you are, you are painting a new picture. Completely. Starting with a blank canvas. Good luck. <laughs>